Hello and welcome to this video on how to use a colour correction volume within Unreal Engine. Okay, so a colour correction volume is much like a post-process volume. However, um, a post-process volume is going to affect the entire of the screen, dependent on if you have infinite constraints, infinite bounds, or if you are within it. A colour correction volume is going to be visible on everything within the volume from outside of the volume. So this means that you would be capable of, in this example, I'm going to, I'm going to change, I'm going to affect just this chair on the left hand side here. Okay, now in order to get it, you are required to import a, a, a plugin. So to do that, you start off by going edit plugins and search for virtual production utilities. So that's this one here. I'm going to click enable. It's going to say it's in beta. Go yes. And I'm going to click restart now. So once you are restarted, I'm just going to close this down. You're going to um, you're going to be able to search within the place actors for the color correct region. If I drag that into the world, you're going to see that you have a transparent sphere. Now, it's going to do nothing until you play around with the settings. So under the details, you're going to be able to see the different settings here. So you've got a number of different settings that's going to provide you the ability to change the intensity on the outer and the inner um, size of the of it. You can also change the type. So in order to make this visible, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down under the color grading settings here. I'm going to go to global and I'm going to change that to green. That's a little bit too subtle. Let's let's change the temperature to uh, 10,000. Oh no, let's change it to zero. Okay, so that's going to give us a strong enough blue. So you can see what is inside this color correction volume. Now, at the moment, you can see it acts a, bit, a little bit like a light, that that area is going to be corrected to blue. Now, um, if I change this to a box, for example, or maybe a cylinder would do better, then I can... I'm going to um, increase the inner so that it is the same as the outer so that we get no fall off. And I'm going to expand this to fit around the entire object. So I'll just move it to be over it and I'm going to edge this out. Now, there you go. You can see that we color corrected that to be blue. You can also see the problem that we've got here is, is the floor is also blue. Now I could correct that by when turn off the snapping to just just edge it out. But you're going to see as other objects pass through this, actually transparent things are not a good example. Let's do the table. You're going to see that they also take on that blue. So it's a great way of changing changing a color for something that isn't really going to be interacted with. It was originally designed for uh, virtual production, hence it's part of the virtual production uh, plugin. Okay, thank you very much.